Well hello and welcome to Jimmy Desm Total Notary Channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about RAM sticks, random access memory. Here we have some RAM, here we have some RAM, we have a lot of RAM. But there is something called DIM and so dim. So dim. Anyways, um, these are different kind of standards and some people are a little bit confused of what's the difference between them. And it's very simple, I'm just going to explain it to you. So DIM, like these, um, and these, and, and these, stands for Dual Inline Memory Module. And DIM is basically regular modern RAM, even though some of these RAM sticks are, are not very modern. These are like 256 meg, 512 megs each for these ones, and these are a little bit newer, DDR3 uh, memories and I don't know. And we, and we even have some DDR4. But all these DDR ones, they are all DIM, dual inline memory modules, these ones. Uh, however, there is something called SO DIM, which stands for Simple Outline Dual Inline Memory Module. And these these are these smaller cute memory sticks. So dim and dim. So basically, so dim, a lot of people call them laptop memory. Because these are most common in laptops, while these full ones, big ones, are in desktop um, computers, you know. And while these may look a little bit fancy, if you may buy a pre-built computer, you'll get this uh, little less fancy industry standard green memory cards. They still look like that, even though they are much bigger. But uh, the thing is that it's a little bit inaccurate un to call them laptop memory, because not only laptops use them. For example, super tiny um, desktop cases that really try to cramp everything into a really small spot, usually opt for, for sodium instead. So that's basically the memory. Sodium is, is the small type of the RAM and, and DIM is the regular type of the RAM. So there we go. Hope this video answered any questions you had about that and if you wanna check what type of DDR your RAM is, what speed it is and what capacity it is, uh, I already ma made a video about that. I also have a video about how to install RAM into your custom PC and how to install uh, sodium RAMs into your laptop. So you can check them out uh, in the playlist or, or in the description. So I'll see you around. Subscribe and stay tuned. This is your host Jim Odessum signing out.